family contacted 10 News outraged after their developmentally disabled son was beaten and pepper sprayed by a sheriff's deputy. The family and witnesses, they talked to us just hours ago about what led to the violent confrontation. 10 News reporter Jennifer Jensen is in Vista tonight with the Sheriff's Department's surprising admission. 21-year-old Antonio Martinez was just trying to get back here to his family's bakery when his evening took a terrifying turn. The scratches on his face and bruises on his arms are fresh. His painful reminders of what happened to him Tuesday night in Vista at the hands of a sheriff's deputy. He got pepper spray, so he's covering his eyes. The cop kept saying, get on the floor. Witness Melissa Mejia was working in her family shop nearby when she heard the commotion. He was laying down and whatnot, and the officer had the baton, and he was going like that. He kicked him a couple times, yeah. like hard. She ran to the bakery and got his older sisters and yelled at the deputy to stop. He has Down syndrome, like, stop, you know, this is wrong. And he wouldn't stop. He kept going. Clearly reliving what he experienced was overwhelming. His father, Francisco, showed us the bruises where his son was hit. 10 News was there. Sheriff's Captain Joe Rohde visited the family to apologize. He admits to us the department was in the wrong. We, we made a mistake here. Captain Rohde says deputies were looking for a man in the area possibly involved in a domestic violence dispute when they came across Antonio. As a gentleman walked by, he covered his head with his, uh, the hood of his sweatshirt, kind of trying to conceal his identity. An act which raised the deputy's suspicion. And when Antonio wouldn't stop walking away, the deputy took matters into his own hands. Again, he pepper sprayed him. Uh, when that wasn't effective, he hit him with a baton, which put him on the ground, and then uh, a couple of more strikes to get his hands free um, so they could handcuff him. When they got him in the car, they realized that uh, he had Down syndrome. Then the deputy drove him to the hospital. Why the use of force? Uh, when he tried to contact the guy, once again, he didn't know who he was. He didn't know if he was involved in the domestic violence. Clearly, he wasn't. He was just walking to his family's business. The Martinez's have already contacted an attorney. In Vista, Jennifer Jensen, 10 News.